You love your dog and treat them like family, but sometimes, even with the best intentions, we humans do things that our furry friends absolutely hate. These aren't always obvious things like leaving them at the vet or withholding treats. We're talking about those everyday actions that to us seem perfectly normal, even loving, but to your dog, scream discomfort, stress, and even fear. We humans are huggers, it's how we show affection, but your dog? They're not wired that way. In the dog world, leaning on another dog, pinning them down, restricting their movement, that's dominance. So, when you give your dog a tight squeeze, they might not feel the love. They might feel trapped, anxious, even scared. Pay attention to their body language. Are they stiffening up, licking their lips excessively, yawning nervously, avoiding eye contact? Respect their boundaries. Imagine this. You're trying to learn something new, and every time you make a mistake someone screams at you. Not very motivating, right? It's the same for your dog. Yelling doesn't teach them anything except to fear you and your outbursts. Instead of resorting to yelling, focus on positive reinforcement. Reward the behaviors you want to see with praise, treats, or a favorite toy. And when they do something wrong, calmly interrupt the behavior with a firm no or off, and redirect them to something more appropriate. Consistency is key here. In the human world, eye contact shows engagement, interest, even love. But in the canine world, it's a whole different story. Staring directly into a dog's eyes, especially for prolonged periods, can be interpreted as a challenge, a threat, even an act of aggression. Imagine a stranger on the street staring you down. You'd probably feel uncomfortable, maybe even threatened. So, instead of engaging in a staring contest, try looking at them with soft eyes. Or better yet, focus on their body language. It's their way of communicating their true feelings. We all love a good dog in a costume. It's adorable, it's funny, it's a great photo opportunity. But before you force that silly hat or sweater on your furry friend, remember this. Dogs experience the world through their senses, and costumes can be a sensory overload. The feel of fabric on their fur, the restriction of movement, the unfamiliar smells, it can all be incredibly stressful for a dog. So unless your dog genuinely enjoys wearing clothes, it's best to skip the costume party and let them be comfortable in their own skin. Just like humans, dogs have different personalities and comfort levels when it comes to social interaction. Some are social butterflies, eager to greet every human and canine they encounter. Others are more reserved, preferring to keep to themselves. Forcing a shy or anxious dog to interact with others can backfire. It can increase their anxiety, lead to fear-based aggression, and damage their confidence. Walks should be enjoyable for both you and your dog, a time to relax, explore, and strengthen your bond. But if you're constantly pulling on the leash, keeping it taut, you're creating a stressful experience for your dog. A tight leash creates tension, both physically and mentally. It communicates a lack of trust, restricts their natural urge to sniff and explore, and can even lead to behavioral issues like leash aggression. We often focus on the fun aspects of dog ownership, the cuddles, the games of fetch, the Instagram-worthy moments. But just like us, dogs have basic needs that must be met for them to thrive. These include regular exercise, mental stimulation, a balanced diet, access to fresh water, and of course love and affection. Imagine this. One day you're allowed on the couch, the next day you're banished. One day begging at the table is met with a treat, the next day it's met with a scolding. Dogs thrive on routine and predictability. When we're inconsistent with our training, our commands, and our expectations, we create confusion and anxiety. We live in a human-centric world, and sometimes leaving our dogs alone is unavoidable. But for some dogs, even short periods of solitude can trigger separation anxiety, leading to destructive behavior, excessive vocalization, and even self-harm. The key is to make their alone time as stress-free as possible. We often view walks as a means to an end, a way to tire out our dogs physically. But for dogs, walks are so much more than just exercise. They're a sensory smorgasbord, an opportunity to explore the world through their powerful noses. When we constantly pull them away from interesting smells, we're depriving them of this essential enrichment. 
Imagine getting in trouble for something you did hours ago, something you don't even remember doing. Dogs live in the moment. They don't understand the connection between something they did in the past and your anger or frustration in the present. Punishing them after the fact only creates fear and confusion. Building a strong and harmonious relationship with your dog is about more than just providing food, water, and shelter. It's about understanding their perspective, respecting their boundaries, and meeting their needs on a deeper level. By being mindful of these seemingly small things that dogs despise, you can create a world where they feel safe, loved, and understood.